on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. You know, yeah, the fear of the unknown. I definitely agree with that. Um, and I do think that it makes sense that if you're born around a certain time that you would have probably similar traits of other people. Uh, do I th do I agree that it's an intelligent thing to delve into that full fledged? No, I don't. Because sometimes people will be like, oh, you're a Sag? Oh, my dad was a Sag. And now they have this, this warm uh, connection with you and, and want to welcome you in. And that person doesn't mean you any good. <laughs> like that person is nothing like your dad. Completely different person. So um, I definitely think that yeah, I understand that people born around a certain time do have certain traits, but at the same time, you can't just use that uh, solely because there's a lot of things that come into play. It's, you know, where you were born, your community, how you were raised, uh, what kind of household you were raised in that make you the person that you are. It doesn't really rely on like the sign that you were born under. There's literally a whole community of people who do, um, what, what is it? The, um, you know, they're crystals. They literally go under the moon and like chant spells and all these kinds. There's a whole community for different things when it comes to the earthy people. That's why I was saying that you're putting all of those people in a box. So it's not because I'm trying to backpedal or I'm feeling a certain That's way and I'm to change my sentiments. I'm just telling you, I said what I said about Rastafari and my foundation of what I know earthy people to be and why those people don't wear deodorant and why and what I know about those people when they take off their shoes and they're walking and they're literally living a natural lifestyle. And then but then we're talking about a whole different ball game. Well, that well, that's okay. what led to Courtney asking me if I cast spells. Okay, okay. I just want to go around real quick and just keep it under one minute and just get this question out. Why do some people rely on horoscopes so much when it comes to being compatible? Really? Yeah, I was like, please. Just really? <laughs> hold on. Yeah, hold on, okay. I, I, think, I, think, I think some people um, rely on horoscopes so much when it comes to being compatible because they find truth in it. You know, I don't understand how celestial moon stars and quasars align and uh, people being born in certain months and they tend to correlate and act a certain way and i don't know many men that you know deep dive and understand it or rely on that other than charlemagne the god or whatever but um you know i i think i think there is some truth to it like when you hear people describing certain signs or say when a woman describes your sign then you be sitting up there like yeah actually i do you know okay i can't relate to some of those traits and qualities so i don't know if they're pulling out the air or if there's some actual truth to it, but I think they believe that there's truth in what they're saying. I don't know. Kay is the resident physicist, so she may be able to uh, expound on that. What about you, Anton? Why do some people rely on horoscopes so much when it comes to being compatible? I have no idea. Honestly, the one thing that I will say is that I think that people find a way to justify whatever it is that they believe in, right? Like, you make it work. Like, it's so funny because... <laughs> I've had somebody say like, oh, you must be a this because, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, nah, I'm not that at all. And then they shoot their shot again on the next or on the next whatever. You must be a Pisces or a Gemini because there's two of you. And I'd be like, nah, you off on that one, too. And it's just like and then I tell them like, nah, I'm an Aries. I knew it. I knew it was an Aries because you got the moon star. I'd be like, your, your, your sun, moon and your left, left. I'd be like, what is you talking about, yo? So honestly, I genuinely don't understand it, but it definitely seems like people, they make it make sense in their mind when they want to justify, you know, whatever it is that they rock with. So I can't necessarily speak on it. I will agree with Rilla in that I think that it tends to be more of a woman thing that I, I've never seen a guy um, into it. So... I don't know. It's weird to me, though. For the sake of the conversation, let's just go around and get everybody the horoscopes. Uh, Rayla, what's your horse? What's your sign? Stop. A who? <laughs> stop. The stop sign. <laughs> what, what's that? <laughs> August, man. I think that's a Leo. What is it? What are you? I was born in August. I think that's Leo. You think uh, that's Leo? Man, you grown as hell. <laughs> you know what sign you had, you had a conversation about sign, man. Let me be, let me be clear. I don't I don't subscribe to that sign. I know you don't subscribe to it, but you ain't never had a conversation before you can even subscribe to it. I'm pretty sure somebody said, Oh, you this, you that. Never in your life. I don't listen. 
I'm telling you, I don't subscribe to signs. So I think that's Leo. Okay. <laughs> okay, Riddler. Uh, I'm a Scorpio. Anton. I'm an Aries. Courtney. I'm a Capricorn. All right, River. I'm a Leo. Leo. Okay. My sun sign is a Pisces, and my moon and ascendant are both Leo. What? <laughs> I won't tell y'all the rest. Of my what, what's hey, what's the main the, sign? What's, what's, the, the, sun what's the main sign? sign? The one y'all all named is the sun sign. That's like the one that people popularly know. Um, but if you do your natal chart, you can find out a lot more. But my sun sign is a Pisces. My moon and ascendant are both Leo. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Do I some don't, don't after show. Hit me up. Y'all got my number. Okay, Courtney. I'll show you what you need to know. Courtney, why do some people rely on horoscopes so much when it comes to being compatible? Um, I think the um, fear, I think fear of the unknown is um, why people look for horoscopes. So you know they want to know well, what's going to happen to me in the future, and you know the fear of the unknown. I think sometimes horoscopes give people hope, especially if it's positive. Um, it helps them, I guess, make decisions. So instead of them relying on themselves or on God, they look at their horoscopes and say, well, today I'm going to, I don't know what the horoscopes read, but, you know, <laughs> we, <laughs> but like comparison, you know, cause I've had someone say, oh, you're a Capricorn. Well, you mesh well with, you know, or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, you know, people fear the unknown and not wanting to rely on yourself or God, but relying on the stars and the cosmics to get you to where you want to be. Okay. River, you get a chance to go on this question? I actually didn't because we went somewhere okay. completely different. Okay. Um, I, I, I think um, I agree with what Courtney just said about the fact that that's kind of what they just lean on. Everybody kind of leans on to something. So I think they lean on that because, you know, yeah, the fear of the unknown. I definitely agree with that. Um, and I do think that it makes sense that if you're born around a certain time that you would have probably similar traits of other people. Uh, do I th do I agree that it's an intelligent thing to delve into that full fledged? No, I don't. Because sometimes people will be like, oh, you're a Sag? Oh, my dad was a Sag. And now they have this, this warm uh, connection with you and, and want to welcome you in. And that person doesn't mean you any good. Like that person is nothing like your dad. Completely different person. So um, I definitely think that yeah, I understand that people born around a certain time do have certain traits. But at the same time, you can't just use that uh, solely because there's a lot of things that come into play. It's you know, where you were born, your community, how you were raised, uh, what kind of household you were raised in that make you the person that you are. It doesn't really rely on like the sign that you were born under. 